All right, so we got a box of Sopaco Emergency Ration Mills, or just MREs. Um, there's 14 MREs in each one of these boxes. You can get these pretty much anywhere online. Uh, I got mine on eBay for 60 bucks, which is just an insane deal, and that averages about 450 or less uh, per MRE. And the MREs come with pretty much everything that a normal U.S. military MRE comes with, like an entree, pop tart, utensils, a seasoning. So an insane deal uh, if you want to get low-priced MREs, and they're, and they're pretty much the same, made from the same factories that just source them out. Some people think these are newer, maybe 90s or early 2000s. They've been actually doing these since 1943. Not these specific ones, but they've been making rations for the military since then. So yeah, it predates the original 1983 U.S. rations that came out, or the MREs, like cans of things and just knickknacks for the soldiers back in World War II. So yeah, they actually have a history, which is pretty neat, and they're not just, you know, some brand new company. They were founded in 1943. They're currently located in Mullen, South Carolina. Yeah, so not a bad price. So yeah, let's get into this box. As you can see, it's already open. Somebody got hungry. All right, let's see what we got. The first one. These are reduced sodium, which usually just means there's a smaller salt pack in there or not one at all. So this one is spaghetti with meat and textured soy flour sauce. That just sounds weird. Textured soy flour sauce. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting uh, taste test. Classic Pop-Tart. I'm sure that's gone bad. Yeah, pastries usually don't last um, in these MREs, or at least name brand ones. So this is the Beef Roast with Vegetables. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So most of these you find online right now are 2017 packed. Um, like late 2017, like on the 268th day, <laughs> something like that. Okay, and then we got the Chili Mac Macaroni and Beef in Sauce. These names are just weird. Chili Mac Macaroni and Beef in Sauce. I don't know what robots come up with these names, but they really need to change their algorithm. Okay, now we got Beef Ravioli and Meat and Textured Soy Protein Sauce. These names are ridiculous. Okay, Vegetable Lasagna. There's actually quite a few so far. I was expecting like four tops, like four different, okay, vegetable lasagna. Okay, so those are all the variants of MREs in the SOPAC box. Let's get to testing. All right, so it comes with five unique MREs, beef roast with vegetables, vegetable lasagna, chili mac, spaghetti with meat sauce, and beef ravioli. Yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to be opening the beef roast with vegetables first. Okay, so 180 calories for the main entree. You can see that chocolate chip pop tart right off the bat. Oh yeah, you can smell that chocolate chip cookie. It kind of smells a little rotten. <laughs> a little foul. We got a classic MRE iodized salt. Alright, and right off the bat we got the classic MRE spoon which is pretty neat that it comes with these. Um, I think they used to come with plastic white spoons. So yeah, it's kind of nice seeing them come with the standard US military ration spoon. And we got the classic Tootsie Roll. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Tootsie Rolls, but eh, it's not bad. And we got the chocolate chip Pop-Tart, the moist towelette. And we got the FRH pack or the flameless ration heater. Um, I'm not going to be using these to cook these because, yeah, after about four years, they go bad. At least the ones in the soap pack. Yeah, so I'm just going to boil them in water. I have, no I have no idea why these don't work, but yeah, I'm just going to be boiling it. We've got some classic apple jelly. Pretty good stuff. All right, and then we got the classic white wheat snack bread. Trans fat free. Ah. Then we have the main entree. Beef roast with vegetables. Yeah, not a bad spread. All right, next up we got the vegetable lasagna. 270 calories in the entree. So that's about 80 more than the last one. Quite significant. 
Let's tear into this. All right, so we got our main entree there. And we got some more white wheat bread, classic MRE spoon, iodized salt, Tootsie Roll, moist towelette, FRH, and then we got the best kind of Pop Tart, strawberry. Then we got a ration here sleeve. And we got some more apple jelly. Pretty significant MREs for uh, about four bucks. All right, and then we got the beef ravioli and meat and textured soy protein sauce. This one looks a little more difficult to open. And first off, Tootsie Roll. More white bread, FRH, moist towel and salt, and a spoon. Okay, so we got some strawberry jam. Haven't tried this yet, so can't wait. A little strawberry pop tart. Then we have our main entree, the sleeve. All right, then we got the classic chili mac. Macaroni and beef in sauce. More white wheat bread, FRH. Salt and wipes, Tootsie Roll. Got some more apple jelly. And we got a blueberry pop tart. Never tried these before. And we got the main entree, sleeve, and a classic spoon. So yeah, the camera cut out, so got some vegetable crackers, pop tart, M&Ms, main entree, apple jelly, salt and wipes. Yeah, this one came with two, so it's got M&M's and a Pop-Tart. Pretty awesome. All right, let's get out the tray. All right, so I'm going to be doing a little differently this time, because I'm just going to put all of the entrees on there. All right, we're going to start it out with the beef roast and vegetables. Okay, pretty pathetic. Mm, you can actually smell that right off the bat. Whoa. That is a meat patty. That's pretty awesome. That smells like a home cooked meal. Really good. Wow, that is that's a massive amount. And we got the chili and mac macaroni. Okay. A little piece filling, but that's not too bad. Mm, you can smell that. And we got the spaghetti with meat sauce. Pretty weird. We got the beef ravioli. Almost had it. Okay. Seems kind of cheesy. It smells alright. Kind of has a weird fragrant smell to it though. Like slightly perfumey, which is kind of weird. Could have gone bad. Okay, now we got the lasagna, and I'm gonna have to put it in one of these tiny slots. It's gonna be a little awkward, but it's better than just constantly rewashing this uh, tray. Okay, smells pretty good. All right, this is a feast. Oh wait, I'm missing one more thing, the bread. All right. All right, now we're gonna actually try this. I love it that they give you the classic MRE spoon. It's really almost worth it just getting these spoons. I don't know, I just love them. All right, let's try the roast. A giant chunk of meat. Okay, that. All right. That's really good. Super lean. Let's try some of the vegetables. I mean, it tastes good, but it's mainly just slightly salty and slightly irony. Um, the vegetables are just vegetables. Carrots and potatoes. Yeah, really not much to say about that one, but it's pretty good. All right, we're gonna try out the lasagna. Lasagna looks a little weird. Nope. No. That's just weird. For one, there's beans in there. I don't know what kind of lasagna they're cooking at home, but beans. And aside from the beans, it tastes like there's like 
20 grams of sugar in that. I'm not even joking. It's just sweet. It's like no salt, just sweet. It's just gross. Not good. All right, let's try some spaghetti. Noticing a theme here. A lot of red sauce and Italian stuff. All right. Mm -mm. <sighs> that one's pretty foul. It tastes like the pouch that it's encased in. It literally has no flavor other than this like awful plastic weird, I don't even know. All right, let's try some of the chili mac. All right. Hmm. There's a lot of chili powder in that. It's kind of sad. It just tastes like really dusty chili powder. That's it. There's nothing, nothing else. It's slightly sweet. Let's try the good old raviolis. Mm. Those are really good. Those are pretty tasty, but they do need some salt. They have like a slight sweetness to them. Kind of like everything in this MRA. Low sodium, but more sugar? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you didn't see that. Okay, let's try that with some salt. Mm -hmm. Chef Boyardee. That's just so much better when you add the salt pack to it. Let's try some of these crackers. Vegetable crackers. Let's give them a go. That will let out some air. Very crumbly. Let's give them a bite. It tastes like American pizza crust, but a little bit more cardboardy. There we go. Doesn't really help much. Let's try some of that bread with some of that jam. Okay. Let's give it a smell. Hmm. Well, I can tell you right now it's going to be a lot better than those wheat snacks. And I know it says white wheat, but it's not. I think it's whole wheat on the other ones. So yeah, this one smells a lot better and it looks a lot better. I'm just going to break this in two so we can try both of those jam packets. All right, I'm excited to try this strawberry jam because I've never had it. Just give it a little knead. Mm -hmm. All right, let's carefully open this because I am the worst at opening things. I have no idea. All right. All right, let's give that a bite. Hmm. That's really good. At first, it's not overly sweet, but as you swallow it and kind of let it sit, you can really feel that sugar burn in your throat. But man, that's really good. It tastes like high quality jam. All right, let's get that apple jelly out and give it a knead. All right, should be good. Get a nice little tear. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a bite. Hmm. That's pretty good. I'm gonna try them both together real quick. I know we don't have any peanut butter, but hey, who says you can't have a double jam sandwich? All right. All right, it's not bad. It's a little weird. I mean, it's just sugar. So let's try this pop tart. I have a feeling like it's gone moldy because most of those pop tarts I pulled out were popped open. All right, blueberry. I've never tried these in my entire life. Maybe when I was a kid, but I, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't look good. I think it would smell. Ugh. That does not smell good. It smells like rotten oil. Like, uh, I don't know if you've ever smelled like rotten olive oil. 
or Crisco or any of that that's gone bad. It just smells really weird. I'm not going to eat this one. What about the M&Ms? Well, we already know what those taste like, but I'll give them a try. So I don't think these go bad for a while or at all, really. All right. Let's see. Four-year-old M&Ms. These could be like around five years about now. Let's give it a try. They taste pretty good. A little weird, a little, a little off. Not bad though. Almost forgot. Classic Tootsie Roll. I haven't had one of these for maybe over 10 years. Because they're kind of depressing in my opinion, but hey, we all have our own taste. And... Alright. That's a Tootsie Roll. Tastes fine. Uh, it's a little melted. Now there is another Pop-Tart in there, the chocolate chip Pop-Tart. Um, that one was exploded, so yeah, it's definitely not good. Alright, let's wash up with some moist towelettes. Now these are wet. That's insane. Like, look at that. That is the wettest moist towelette I have ever felt. Wow, that is insane. Alright, so that was my review of the 2017 Soap Pack box. Like I said, you can get them for about 60 bucks pretty much anywhere. I got mine on eBay, which is just an insane deal for an MRE, especially one that comes with MRE spoon, pastries, main entree. It's just kind of crazy, so... Yeah, it wasn't too bad though. I'd say the um, roast beef and the raviolis were the best out of this whole thing. Some of the stuff kind of tasted a little fragrant or just kind of absorbed some of the plastics in that pouch. I think that's just because it's, you know, four and a half years old. So if you like the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe. I'm going to be uploading every Friday. And next week's video, I'm going to be doing the U.S. Pizza MRE, um, which is going to be pretty exciting. I've been waiting for that for a long time. And um, yeah, subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys later.